All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is now time for Raising the Barbell Cooking Style. We have a few items, hashtag ingredients, that we're going to use for our Linus potatoes. We have queso fresco, red onion, and parboiled potatoes. Of course, got the potatoes, cut them thin, and bar wait, why did my cutting board move? Okay, chef bell tip time. Meh, 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 meh. Grab a paper towel, wet it, and place it right under your cutting board. So stop it. Uh, it was supposed to stop moving. There, okay. There, there we go. Uh, uh, anyway, where was I? All right. Cut through the root of your onion. All right. That's just for now. We're going to save that guy for later. Maybe want to mince it, put it in some omelet, blah, blah, blah possibilities are in this. Now slice the very tip of your onion also to make it easier to peel. Just the end of it, all right? Make sure that you have two items to hold, two containers, an edible trim and edible trim. A little trim is gonna be the, you know, the peel that you won't really use. An edible trim will be little pieces that you may have left over. But your boy is not gonna have any left over over here. Yo, yo, I am bleeding. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> just wanted to, you know, get your attention. Not that I didn't have it already. Anywho, this is fun. I like these little edits on here. Anyway, all right, let's cut that root. And we're gonna cut with the grain. With the grain. Uh, let me put that up. Yeah, with the grain of the onion. Okay. Oh. Yeah! Huh. All right, let's see. Keep your tip of your knife on the cutting board, okay? All right, rocking motion. Oh, hey, there we go. Got another one, and it's good. Oh, you didn't see that. Anyway, so we're gonna go through finish this. Nice, Julianne. Keep them even, even cuts equal even cook. Okay, two pans ready for us. Um, but before that, I'm gonna separate it. Think I can make all of it in there without dropping it? Do you think I can do it? Think I can do it? Oh, 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 yeah, boy. All right, so let me pull out this cauliflower, okay? So what I did is I got a big old head of cauliflower and I cut towards the root, okay? Um, of course you peel it and you, then you want to make sure you get all the green on the outside of it and then cut straight down, all right? The way we're gonna cook is where all of it's gonna be tender, so everything is a-okay. So you wanna season it. I season with salt and pepper, real simple, to the pot. Really, it's a pan, so let's ignore that. All right, so I got my cast iron skillet, nice and seasoned, has a little oil on the bottom. Um, start it off, place them in the there, and these are going to be like your cauliflower steaks with their little cousins that always come over during the family reunion, bother them, hang around with them. All right, so we're gonna let these guys cook. Add a little mantequilla, butter, yes, to give it a little nice color to the fish. Okay, so got some red snapper from a local grocer over here in the H town for those who are watching this not from music and cut it up and here we have one of the fillets cut that fillet diagonally and you now have two fillets want to season it with some red pepper some basil and a little a little bit of salt all right now I treat this a little different put salt on it then I go there we go. Meat to meat. Keep it from losing any of that. And it goes onto each other. Then I salt the skin on either side. And now it's time to go check back on that cauliflower. Okay, there we go. Getting some color on there. You gotta let it sit for a bit. And then after it's sat, it's going to have that nice color to it. So I got a nice hot pan, throw my butter in, and bang, yeah, skin down, skin down. 
Like two peas in the pod. <laughs> you know, like the Michael and the Jackson. <laughs> you know, like like the Whitney and the Bobby. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not them. All right, so my cauliflower is sat for a bit. I'm gonna kind of check all the little, not as dark spots, but get ready for this. Bang, that's the color you want. That's my presentation side. Flip it over, yeah. There we go, there we go. Nice color on it. Okay, I'm gonna just let those sit there and move on back towards the fish. Check it out. So a fish spatula, I'm gonna use to flip it over. You want your skin nice and crispy. Yeah, there we go, awesome. All right, skin is nice and crispy. I'm going to turn off my heat and I'm going to add some butter, just a little bit. Core is always under me, goodness. Okay, all right, add some heat, add some little um, butter to it. Yeah, this is not a quote healthy, but it's healthier than Jack in the Box. But I have this little sauce I made using fish stock, um, some hot sauce, I had a little Thai chili pepper sitting in it, and some herbs. If you want to know more about that, let me know. Now I've taken all the cauliflower out of the pan and it's now time to finish up with my lionese potatoes. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have a party with more butter and onions. Throw in some potatoes that I've cut earlier and blanched. Cut them, put them in some simmering salty water, take them out, and I actually rinse them in some cold water. So you want to try to get one even level of potatoes. I have two more here. I'm not going to. You know what? Screw it. Okay. Now, this is when you season it a bit. I have a little cumin and some fennel. I love the flavors that they give me through that. And we're going to also add a little bit of sweetness to this a little bit. A little bit. Okay. So you get that umami, salty, sweet, different levels of flavor. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wine. Okay, this wine is going to help steam it and give it a little acidity to it. So it's also deglazing your pan, pulling up all that fawn from everything that you cooked up earlier. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Ah, uh, you see a little frozen looking thing right there? Yeah, that's some stuff I made earlier for a ramen dish. And that may end up on my channel if you guys request it. Here we go, here we go. That's gonna also help deglaze your pan and steam your wonderful potatoes as well. Cora is running around trying to find a little piece from your drop. I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit more liquid and this one's gonna give a little sweet tone. A little bit of almond milk, okay? Trust me, trust me, it works. It works really well balancing out your dish okay now this is gonna steam for a couple more like I'd say about a minute or so and then reduce to almost nothing and now it's time to add some queso 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 all right there we go grab my queso fresco my hand grater and you get a little action right there there we go uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Right, I'm going to transfer this into a bowl, let it sit and garnish it with a little pinch of parsley, okay? Also, freshness and color, okay? Not just one thing. Had my cauliflower sitting there, and I put my beautiful snapper in the oven at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, just to keep it warm. All right, now, plating. We want height, okay, height, H-E-I-G-H-T. So, we make a platform first, okay? I'm gonna get a little closer look in for you all. Here we go, here we go, there we go. All right, now, I'm following the plate diagonally 
So when I place it in front of my guest, they get the flat side, but it's in an angle. So it's kind of like a little technique with it. We got some pickled radishes and fennel leaf. All right, you can put it on top there. The sauce that I made earlier, right there. Again, if you want more info about that, let me know. And I actually want that right there. There we go, Kavala, cooking like a pro. <laughs> wow, there we go, app subscribe, woo.